So here we have the new shape Vauxhall Insignia SRI VX Line Nav on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see just under the number plate here that this car has got a reversing camera. I'll show you that when we're inside the car properly. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back down the other side of the car, around to the front, and then we'll hop in and run through the controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. These seats are as good as new. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. You can see in the middle, the total miles for this car are 14,604. The information that's displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. You've got a couple of different trip computers, for example, uh, your range of fuel. Uh, so various different bits of trip computer information available to us there uh, and we can go and reset certain bits of those information as well all from the buttons on the right hand side of the steering wheel here we've also got stereo controls and then on the left hand side we've got cruise control with speed limiter this car's got a collision a front collision warning system there's a video on our website showing exactly what that is and how that works we've got a heated steering wheel which you turned on and off from that button and we've got voice activation for the phone. So hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is of course once you've paired up your phone and that is done over in the center, just here. This is all touch screen so you'd pair device and uh, go from there, just follow the instructions on screen. Home button takes us back to this main menu. This car's also got satellite navigation. Again, there's a video showing this working on our website which I'd recommend checking out. When it comes to audio, there's plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. We have DAB radio, we've got AM, and we've got FM as well, and then back round to the DAB. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Just hit media. It will say that nothing's connected at the moment, because it isn't. Uh, but ultimately, you can connect up a um, Bluetooth device. So once your phone is connected, you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. There's also a USB input. Uh, this car's also got Apple CarPlay as well, so if you've got an Apple device and you connect it up via USB, uh, you can use Apple CarPlay. Again, we've done a video on that which is on our website and on our Facebook page showing exactly how that works. Uh, just before we move on from that screen actually as well, it's worth showing you this car's got a full colour reversing camera with guidelines showing you where the car is headed in relation to the image that you see behind you. It's got the volume for the stereo. And then we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the temperature on either side of the car, be fan speed up or down from here, and all fan speed adjustments and temperature adjustments all show on the main screen, uh, as well as obviously down here as well, where the temperature is concerned. Uh, the air conditioning is on, but if you hit auto, the car will maintain those temperatures by taking control of the fan speed itself, which you can hear it doing and you can override that at any time you wish to. This cubby hole section opens up, we've got a couple of cup holders down there and a 12 volt charging socket. The key is also down here, that's because this car has got keyless start. So you simply need to make sure the key is in the car and then you press this button just here to start and stop the engine. We then have these two buttons. So this car's got a stop and start, which means it's designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that system off should you wish to and it has lane departure warning system so the car will warn you if you drift from your lane again there's video showing both of those things on our website we then have a six speed manual gearbox the electronic handbrake and then in the central armrest we've got the usb input that i mentioned previously all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive please feel free to call any of our mja sites we'd love to hear from you soon